Well, just got back on trail. Four nights, doctor's orders. Um, I had already rested two whole days before I went to the ER and got checked out. But uh, I've got my inhaler that I can take on demand if I start having trouble breathing. It's not like life threatening, I don't think. <laughs> but uh, I used to get back on trail after a few days of being stationary. I'll tell you what though, this was one of those breaks where for the first time where I'm off trail and don't really want to be, where I'm just like not really antsy getting stuck in town. I, I'm still tired. It really beat me up hiking the other day, not being able to breathe, obviously. So happy to have gotten some, uh, some means of dealing with it and the ability to keep hiking and some time to rest. So Jess at Jess Treat Hostel was so stinking nice and uh, not gonna lie, didn't really want to go today. I mean, it's nice to get back on trail and make progress and it's beautiful here. Nice flat start to the day. But uh, man, it was uh, hard to pull myself out of bed, you know? Sleepy and still not 100%, honestly. The reason I'm hiking as fast as I am at the moment is that the mosquitoes are really bad here. This is a really low, ferny, swampy area. And uh, it's beautiful, man. It really is, but, but with these low-lying areas, you're gonna have a lot of skeeters. rain last night. It's beautiful sleeping to the pit pad of raindrops. And I guess it rained this morning too. But uh, so all the greenery on the sides of the trip is wet, which will soak you. <laughs> Poison ivy's all glistening and wet too. You see it's so close on the sides of the trail. If you're allergic to poison ivy, which I thought I was, <laughs> you're gonna get it. A lot of hostels will have calamine lotion and poison ivy cream and stuff. Hope in fields. My shoes are getting wet because it rained last night and the grass is still wet. Wet grass means wet shoes and socks. Mosquitoes are awful through here. Just terrible. Nice boardwalk though. Always appreciate a good boardwalk. Don't have to get my feet all wet. Tell you what is tiring is swatting at mosquitoes all day. That's tiring, that's not fun. I'm not having fun swatting at mosquitoes today. They just keep landing on me and biting me. I'm already tired. It throws off my stride, not paying attention. But at least it's flat and uh, nice terrain. It's kind of mucky though. They're just swarming around me. Look at that sucker right there. Damn blood suckers. Just all over me. Crossing the 
There's the Tonic River here again. This is the river hiked along in Connecticut, I'm pretty sure. And there was a lot of floodplain with swamp and stuff back there. It's definitely why there's so many mosquitoes. Apparently, you're not even supposed to eat the fish out of this one because there's a bunch of PCBs. I don't know what PCBs are. If you know what PCBs are, maybe put them in the comments. But, uh, let's cross the bridge and, uh, we will be back in the woods here in a minute. I'll just be out in the open for a second. One more breeze, fewer mosquitoes. I haven't needed to hit my inhaler more than once so far, which is nice. So, the hair's pretty thick and syrupy feeling though. Pretty beautiful here. And off we go back into the woods. Back to the mosquitoes. Well, I made it to the Wilcox shelter. I'm not sure if it was the first shelter or what, but it ended up being like 16 miles. And uh, there's another one in two miles. Could make it an 18 mile day. I think I'm gonna take it easy. I'm tired. Maybe if I have a lot of time after dinner. But um, the other shelter is like six spaces, and this one's like 10. And then there's another lean-to over there, the old shelter. So, nice to know that I've got a spot for the night and I can just rest. Bottom bunk, right there. See, pretty nice. Fires are permitted here, so I might entertain myself with a little campcraft. And uh, keep the mosquitoes away. They're still pretty bad. Not as bad here as they have been, but some are still getting at my legs put my hair down so if I hear one I can just go like this <laughs> and they can't bite my face I feel like a horse Whoosh. anyway let me show you dinner so um got a Colby Jack cheese it's a, probably like almost a week old maybe a week old exactly um spicy tuna with cheese you know you just like if there's no spots on it you're good that's what everyone says. <laughs> I've never gotten sick from it. Uh, so sweet and spicy tuna, and then um, whole, you know, pieces of uh, wheat thins on top. And I don't remember what time they are. I haven't eaten a lot of wheat thins on trail. They hold up pretty well. They're pretty tough. Not seasoning flavors on them. I really like them. Yeah, um, picante chicken ramen with some of the spicy stuff, um, Thai chili pepper seeds and stuff from um, Charlie DeMary. Still working on that. I don't put a whole lot in each batch of stuff. Packed in two liters of water, I'm just going to chug this one. I'm going to save this one. And um, food bag's getting a little, well, it's still like four pounds. So I'm gonna bite into this and start chilling. It's about six in the morning. People are camping right up there, so I'm gonna be quiet. Check out this water source. It's like a cave. You gotta get down in there. Uh. <coughs> Nothing else. Massachusetts will be remembered for the mosquitoes. At least when I'm on the move, they ain't got nothing on the locks, man. The hair let down protects my ears and the back of my neck, and it moves around. And they don't bite me there anymore. Ah, 
See, Dad, I told you having long hair was a good idea. I'm a hippie now. been so humid the last two days, I haven't been able to take my phone and use it for videos without taking it out of the case. This view is nice enough that I thought I probably should do that. Oh baby, I think after today it'll be like 200 miles to Hanover. I'll show you how bad the bugs are today. Those cows over there. One right there. They're uh, having a real tough time. They all put their heads in the middle and kind of bury their heads so that the flies don't go after their eyes and face. That's what it looks like anyway. And uh, they're kind of taking the hit for me sitting at this picnic table here. I heard about this the other day. I had to come here. This uh, kid has a stand here. You know, like a lemonade stand, but instead it's got like sodas and all kinds of stuff, candy. And, um, you can go in and get chips for a dollar. This was 50 cents. My hiking buddy Greg would love this. It was a dollar fifty. Um, pretty nice. You don't see stuff like that all the time, so... Let's nice take advantage of it where you can. And I was like, buying, I pulled my sleeping bag, my quilt out, and I was like, oh my god. Years of experience means that when the rainstorm comes, Songbird is inside playing chess. Well, back here. Do you have a two? Do you have a two? Do you have a two? The bridge is out! The bridge is out! Pretty close to the highway here. Uh, there's a road that I just passed that goes into a town called Lee. But uh, I'm probably never gonna go one mile and then stop like that. Unless I'm very sick. So <laughs> I am going up this mountain. I'm gonna pass October Mountain Shelter. Probably stay at the next one since I have just enough food for dinner and breakfast tomorrow. Go into town tomorrow. Or if I get to that shelter and it's not too late, then uh, I'll be going to town, Dalton. And there's a Trail Angels place there that you can stay at. Oh, I'm gonna get wet here. There's a Trail Angels place you can stay at. And it's gonna be free camping or for donation. He doesn't ask for donations, but he'll probably take them because he provides soda and snacks for hikers. I'll leave five bucks so that when someone can't really give any money, they don't have to worry about it, you know? Anyway, beautiful, beautiful mornings. And uh, this morning, a guy named Pharrell, older guy I've been hiking with, he was saying his name, he picked it, it's a mix of his two sons' names, and uh, I guess he wanted them to come out with him, but uh, they couldn't, so he made his trail name a mixture of I think Christopher and Philip, I think, so it's Pharrell, Pharrell, anyway, weird spelling, cool name, and uh, you notice a lot of the older people I pick their trail names, something that's important to them, which I like. I think it's like a tool people know to use to keep themselves going, keep themselves motivated. 
Look at this little babbling, babbling brook here. Anyway, uh, battery reserves are a little low. Um, having a little bit of trouble the last few days uh, using a lot of battery on the Zero. Trying to keep everything charged with my backup battery. And uh, I've got a quarter of my backup battery left, so I should get one and a half charges. Should get me to town tonight, tomorrow. I'm thinking about bombing into town tonight. Um, I feel much better today. Took my inhaler twice already this morning, and I'm down to eight puffs. So, Pharrell, I was just talking about, I brought him up because he lent me, gave me, he gave, donated to me, uh, one of his Zyrtex. And, uh, I can't say it's not helping. I think it's kicking in. And I think the inhaler is just kind of addressing the breathing thing. And I think, because I didn't have like, they didn't tell me I had a temperature or anything like that. They said it was an upper respiratory infection, but it's, I don't know, it's persistent. And I haven't been getting better, so, um, or like much better. So I, uh, and I've been drinking tons of water. So I took this Zyrtec, and if it helps today, then tonight or tomorrow when I'm in town, I'll uh, go to a pharmacy or something. I think there's a Walmart in Dalton. Just get a big old thing of it. And there's 24 hour allergy medicines, whether it be Claritin, Zyrtec, whatever. And uh, keep taking that, because I hate taking medicine, but if I can't breathe, hiking really sucks. Uh, doing 16, the last two days before the zero uh, for the thunderstorm yesterday. That was awful. It was truly awful. Um, but you know, had all day to walk 16 miles. So I was not even doing two miles an hour average uh, because I had all day, you know. Anyway, point is, hopefully, We'll try something new, see if it works. Uh, now, this is where people in the past have said, well, why don't you carry this? Why don't you carry that? Well, I didn't come out with ibuprofen. I didn't come out with, you know, Tums. I didn't come out with Rolaids. I didn't come out with all this crap. Why? Like, I don't need it yet, right? Well, you will need it. Okay, so, like tonight, I'll be in town, for example, and, uh, I had the idea to try allergy meds, and I didn't ask anyone for it. Pharrell's nice enough to give it to me, right? That's super nice of him, he didn't have to do that. Okay, so my thing is, I could go into town today, later tonight, go to Walmart, and just buy a box, and carry it with me, and then if I feel a lot better, I don't need it anymore, and I stop carrying it. I, I don't like carrying stuff, because I might need it carry stuff that I do need. If that means that one day, you know, I have some indigestion because I ate too much pepperoni, I don't have Pepto-Bismol, I'll deal with it. I have before. And eat something else, drink a lot of water to kind of settle my stomach. But it's like all these little things people pack because they're afraid. It's really not that bad. Like, it sucks, but you can get to town. And you know, like, so should I carry an inhaler in my kit at all times, just in case I have an allergy attack like this again, or whatever it is? No. If I need one, I'll go get one. I can't, you know, I can't do that. So that's just my mentality, my mindset. It's the same reason that I don't carry five liters of water, you know? It's like, I'll only carry like one or two at a time. People think that's crazy. Not all through hikers, but like camper type people. Why would you do that? That's great. You're gonna you're gonna die of dehydration. You get water along the way. You get what you need in town along the way. You don't carry three weeks of food. You carry four or five days of food. That's just how it is. 
So, that's how I do that. Tally-ho. Hopefully we feel a lot better uh, now that the Zyrtec's kicking in. And I'll see you guys later. I would call it Mini Maine. <laughs> no, seriously though, uh, Massachusetts reminds me so much of like the 100 mile with all the wadi, the wadi, the bodies of water, and uh, the roots in the trail, and just how it feels and everything. Uh, to some extent, the bugs, I feel like the bugs are different in Maine. I feel like Maybe sphere mosquitoes in some places and more gnats, but uh, more mosquitoes here, fewer gnats, but lots of flies too in Maine. I guess depending on when, but point is, I feel like Massachusetts is like a little, little primer for Maine, honestly. Uh, not as many crazy climbs, like weird obstacles and things, but like root clusters slippery stuff rocks and and uh kind of maybe a few uh little stream crossings and uh, maybe not as many muddy spots and little creek walks but it feels a lot like it reminds me a lot of the 100 mile pretty cool That's right, the walking shots are back. I feel so much better today. Uh, my leg feels okay, you know, I'm very used to it. And with the medicine and the brace, it's healed up so much. The knee is very good. So I'm gonna be doing more walking shots again. If you're happy about walking shots, leave a comment in the box below. And let everyone know how happy you are about walking shots. I'm really happy that walking shots are back. They're really fun to edit in. And I think they make the videos a lot better instead of you guys just looking at me talking for like an hour every video. You know you like the walking shots. Don't act like you don't like the walking shots. Hit that like button. You know you like the walking shots. All of Songbird's 43 subscribers, we lost a couple guys are like, for the first time in forever. Anyone that has kids or nieces, nephews, knows that song. I honestly don't know how everybody doesn't get Lyme's disease. I mean, look at all this grass. It's all over me. Definitely get tested when you are finished with your section or whatever, you know? I just made it to Dalton from um, Upper Goose Pond Cabin in six hours and 40 minutes. I think that's pretty good. Is that uh, 20 miles? About? 21? And then, well, I've got a little roadwalk here, but I'm in the town. And look what I found, Dr. Lokeshake. We are here in Dalton, and that is the end of this section, and it'll be a short video. I'm feeling much better with the um, Zyrtec and the inhaler used together. I'm about to run out of the inhaler, so keep your fingers crossed that the Zyrtec by itself will be enough. Uh, shout out to everyone that's still watching the videos, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, Massachusetts has been beautiful. We're going to be out of it in the next few days. Uh, the next section will probably be to the first town of Vermont. Have a good one. Catch you later.